Hey guys, back with another video here. Uh, this is came in some of the pieces that we had uh, gotten through the uh, Gold Dealer program. I want to show you guys when you're buying. Let's say you're buying a chain for resale, or to decide whether you're going to resell it or melt it or fix it and resell it um, or melt it, or, or even if you're just looking, you're just a regular guy looking to buy a used chain. Um, I went over before in some other videos about looking for. Uh, plated gold and you'll see it normally in the, the areas that get the most wear in this case it'll be in your links inside these links I don't know if you can see that open them up open up the chain link there so you can get a good look inside here and if you see any discoloration that's usually a pretty solid indicator that it's not real gold because uh, this is a yellow gold chain. Gold is consistent in color throughout, so it won't just wear in one area. If it does, it's wearing off the gold blading. But the other reason for this video is when you're looking at these links, the older chains you're going to see, if you look inside the link there, it should be about as thick as the whole donut. Sometimes it's flattened a little bit in the links because they twist them and hammer them down a little bit, file them down. But if it's really, really thin, right here in the link, you can see how much thinner that is. It's, it's really spent, you know, and that's where it's going to break in the future. So if you're looking to buy for yourself, not a great investment. You can see that there. Um, or if you're deciding whether to sell it or not. Like me, I'll only sell stuff that is basically brand new or almost perfect because... It's got my name behind it and you know I like I like to have uh, repeat customers and, and that kind of thing um, so I'll just go ahead and melt or just you know you don't have to melt it like I've said in the past just throw it into a see like that link there it's bent but it could be fixed you know this chain if we're all just looking at it it's a nice chain it's a Figaro link that's when you get uh, three small links and one big link it's a Figaro chain um, a lot of people like to say, oh, it's Italian Figaro, but end of the day, it's just 14 karat gold chain, okay? But the point is, it looks fine on presentation, and if you don't know what to look for, you know, you might think, oh, that's a good chain. All you got to do is fix the, uh, the clasp here, maybe fix that one link that we've seen uh, bent there. Uh, here it is, and polish it up. Well, no, because they're so spent here inside these links. This is, this is 14 karat gold, but... You know, I wouldn't fix this chain and, and resell it because of how spent it is here. So, you know, you don't want to sell a chain to someone and then it breaks on them. Or they turn around, you know, upset with you or, or you know, gonna, gonna bash you, give you a bad review or something. And it's just bad business practice. I mean, I'm not telling you how to run your business, but I wouldn't sell this chain. Okay? Um, just for that reason. So watch inside your links. That's, you can tell looking for, for gold that way. Uh, or for, I'm sorry if you can see if something's plated gold or not by the discoloration in, in the links, but also how spent they are. And that should give you, you know, that should tell you what you, give you an idea of what you want to do with the chains, you know. I'm going to melt this chain. If it had been great throughout the links here, I would overlook the broken clasp and the bent link. I would fix that, uh, polish it up, and resell it. This chain, however, because it's so spent, uh, worn down inside the, the links here, which again is where you want to look when you're looking at chain. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and melt that. Still bought it, you know, it's 15 gram chain. I still bought it for 10 bucks. Uh, no matter what, I'm going to get $10 more a gram than I paid for it. So simple math, uh, $150 I'm going to make on this, on this, on this piece here. Anyways, uh, hope you guys liked the video. Please subscribe.